program today is on priority in marriage, and I'll tell you that you, you just can't find a topic that's more important because all of us have to get our priorities right. Very special guest with us today, Mike and Judy Brisky. Now, Mike was a tour pro and a PGA tour pro for seven years, and uh, the first time I ever saw Mike was in the U.S. Open, 2000 U.S. Open. Welcome right now, Mike and Judy Brisky. Now, Mike, you're, you're a very special man for a lot of reasons. One is you, you were on the tour for seven years, and I remember watching you on television, but now you're a pastor, and I think the perfect man is a golfer and a pastor. <laughs> so. In this case, I would have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Judy, would you agree with that? I would agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we've been friends for a long time, but, but Mike, you were on the tour. You know, a lot of people, and I was telling in the teaching there about my, my problem with golf on a way different level. I never made any money doing it. Lost a lot, in fact. But you were on the, you were on the PGA Tour, and you had uh, priority problems in, in your marriage. Talk about that for just a minute. Well, I got to backtrack a little bit um, because we became Christian in 91, 1991, and before that we were married in 1990. Mm -hmm. And that's actually where the problems uh, originated. Oh, really? Uh, because after we were married in South Texas, we moved to Florida, and uh, I was on a mini tours then, and it, I traveled around the southeastern part of the country, and I left her there all by herself with no friends and no family in Orlando, Florida, for 21 weeks. Oh goodness! <laughs> and uh, so, at that point, I really had my priorities mixed up and, and messed up, and it was until we came to know the Lord that the Lord actually started redoing those priorities and reorganizing them. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't have your great teaching back then, but the Lord really showed us through Scripture mm -hmm. how to organize our priorities. Wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we got on tour, we knew, we knew that we knew what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And one thing we didn't want to do was me travel alone with Judy and our future children at home. Mm -hmm. And we didn't want to see our marriage go down the drain. We didn't right. want to see our children go down the drain. And I didn't want her to be husbandless. And so yeah. we committed with a lot of sacrifice, financially especially, mm -hmm. to travel together as a family at that point. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and they're on, in professional sport, a lot of problems in marriages, mm -hmm. really for that reason. Right. Yes. You, you kind of get your priorities out of whack. Right. Judy, what was it like 21 weeks at home alone without your husband? Mm -hmm. I mean, what was that like back then? Well, you know, the first year, that first year of marriage, what happened was Mike would come home after being on the road for a couple of weeks. I was working full time, and I was really very diligent about my work. I mean, work was very important mm -hmm. to me. And Mike would come home after two or three weeks and he'd sit down and, you know, on the sofa and I'd go, no, that's where I sit on the sofa. Mm -hmm. He'd turn on the TV to watch the news and I'd be like, no, I, that's not the news program I watch. <laughs> because I was used to doing things my way. And he'd yeah. come home and he was trying to do things his way. It always took a few days for us to readjust to each other. Yeah. Yeah. And it was not a pleasant time trying to readjust <laughs> to each other because I was used to doing things my way and Mike got used to doing things his way. So when, when did things turn around? I mean, did you, did you come to a crisis point? I mean, did you ever come to a place in your marriage that were, there were real problems? Because I really, I know that there are a lot of people watching right now that uh -huh. they're right now in the midst of some issues. What did you do to get out of the problem? Well, actually there were, there were two points. And, and one was that we, we had just, I was going to say we had just finished a big argument. We hadn't finished yet. We were we were arguing, and uh, I can't see Judy arguing. I see you arguing. Well, I can't and see I that. don't anymore. <laughs> uh, and and at this, it was actually before the Lord again. But I just felt impressed to tell her. I said, "Honey, we need to stop this. Otherwise, we're going to say something yeah. that we'll always regret, yeah. mm -hmm. and and that we'll never we'll never forgive each other." Right. And at that point, that was a turning point in our relationship. It was mm -hmm. still before the Lord was in our lives. Uh, but uh, it was a turning point that, mm -hmm. that paved some ground for the Lord to do some greater work. Mm -hmm. And then uh, later on, we saw the fruit of what golfers did out there when the husband would go out there and the wife and the children would stay at home. Right. And that was probably another dramatic uh, yeah. uh, decision in our life when yes. we said, that, we don't want that. Right. Yeah. We don't want that. And, mm -hmm. and um, we, didn't, we didn't know about the priorities, but we lived them. Uh, mm -hmm. Because God had showed him to him just through just through living and right. just through observing, mm -hmm. and you know He gave us kind of discerning eyes to see all that. Yeah. And so another really neat thing was after we came to know the Lord after a year of being married, God surrounded us with a lot of wonderful Christian couples. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know when we first got married, and I can share this because I've told my children this: when we first got married, we didn't want to have children. 
we thought, you know, children are great, but, you know, I don't think this is something we want in our lives. That was something we had both decided on. And after we came to know the Lord, our priorities changed because mm -hmm. that was one of our priorities was each other. And you guys now, that one of your great passions is teaching That is parenting. our passion. Mm -hmm. And I know that was an attack from the enemy from the get-go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so we prayed about that. I prayed, Lord, change my heart. And boy, did he change my heart. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't imagine not having my children. Well, do you still have trouble with keeping your priorities now that your life has changed and you're pastoring? And do you still have those challenges? I think, I think it's a greater challenge now to balance my time mm -hmm. and manage my time than it was playing golf uh -huh. because Golf was pretty set. It's yeah. like if I had an afternoon time, I'd go out there a certain time, be back home at a certain mm -hmm. time. Ministry is totally different. Mm -hmm. right. you know, I mean, I, I can go in at a normal time, but something come up later on in the day, uh, events in the in the evening, whatever mm -hmm. whatever it may be. And you know, you pour your heart into those things because that's what I'm passionate about. Right. I enjoy helping people, and then coming home, it's like. Oh, oh yeah, I, now I really got to get to work, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and sometimes I don't have the passion coming home. So really it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's a challenge Well, she's sometimes. probably more understanding now because she knows it's your heart to do it. So it's not like the beginning, she's yeah. probably. And you know, when Mike was playing golf, I always said, we are on tour because yeah. it really was a, mm -hmm. a team thing. And mm -hmm. it's the same way with ministry. But one of the things we do to try to help in prioritizing is we cross out certain days of the week. Mm -hmm. And those days, we will not fill them with mm -hmm. anything else but mm -hmm. each other and our children. Mm -hmm. And we that's just something that we felt the Lord put on our heart to that's do, good just to help with that. Mm -hmm. And not to mention seeking the Lord on every decision. I think mm -hmm. so many times an opportunity comes up and we think, oh, this is great, well, we're gonna do it. And we've, we've learned over the past several years that we need to seek the Lord on every single decision we make, mm -hmm. even when our date night is supposed to be, because He knows what's best. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I, I love your testimony because, you know, when you guys are talking about your marriage, you were, you were in the glory place. I mean, you were at a place where, I mean, there were a lot of money, yeah. a lot of fame and all of that, but you really took your marriage, I think, to a different level about what you did. Thank you guys for yeah. being with us today. It's a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Partner with Marriage Today and receive the Marriage on the Rock series on CD or DVD. Marriage Today's latest book, Happy Happy Love, will supercharge your marriage with practical tips, wisdom, and inspiration for every stage of marriage. Visit happylovebook.com. Follow your interests and get social by connecting with Jimmy and Karen and the Ministry of Marriage Today on Twitter. Become a rock-solid partner today and equip yourself with the tools you need for a successful marriage. $14, $28, or $56 per month. Choose the partnership level that's right for you. Become a rock-solid partner today.